Hey guys, Julian here. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today I want to talk to you guys about how I quarantine my coral. Now the last video I posted was about how to set up a quarantine tank. And if this is the first time you're setting up a quarantine tank and you're setting it up at the same time as your main tank, you obviously want to let both tanks cycle before you add any livestock in there. Uh, it's important for your fish and coral to be happy, so you want to make sure you got good water quality. And I've had my main tank running for almost seven months now, so I have the benefit of using that water uh, weekly when I do the water changes into my quarantine tank. So that helps speed up the cycle. I also use the piece of live rock from my main tank, put that in this quarantine tank. And not to mention, I've also used um, some filter media from the main tank into this quarantine filter here. So all that you know helps to um, speed up the cycle and boost up that water quality and obviously you can see i have some coral in here so i'm going to show you guys how i dip them and i quarantine them all right guys so here's just a quick view of what you may need i have a couple containers here and they're strainers just to help disrupt the pests that may be on my coral um, i have a baster there to help for the same reason i have some extra frag plugs and the reef glue and then most important, I have the dip. Now my favorite dip is the Coral RX. That's what I use. I feel like it attacks what's most of an issue in my tank. Um, and then from there, I just follow the directions. It's four capfuls for every one gallon. So I grab a gallon of the tank water and then mix in four capfuls. If I have you know, two or three frags that I want to dip at the same time, I'll grab two or three containers, but I'll first mix that one gallon with the Coral RX before I distribute the water into those other containers. Um, and no matter where I get a new coral from, whether it be the local fish store, the online fish store, um, any kind of fish store, I will get rid of that old frag plug you never know what may be on there and I've seen so many aptages grow from um, frag plugs that I don't want to deal with that so I'll just get rid of that altogether, and then I'll start the dipping process now with the Coral RX you just need to dip it for the 15 minutes so I'll do that and um, no harm in running it you know with a minute or two extra you don't want to do any more than that but it, it, it wouldn't hurt the coral and then I just glue it onto the new frag plug and then I'll apply it to the quarantine tank and here it is guys just half hour after I put it in the quarantine tank it looks great and this is my process I will dip it when I get it I will quarantine it for at least two weeks and then I'll dip it again and then I'll put it in the main tank. And that's how I quarantine my coral, guys. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you found it informative. I hope it helps. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Thank you.